For many cultural pilgrims, the central destinations of their pilgrimages are the great museums of the world. Over centuries of looting expeditions, European colonial rulers helped themselves to the artistic treasures of the countries they conquered. This panajo, as it's called in Spanish, is now in the Museum for Folkerkunde, the Museum of Ethnography in Vienna. Mexican folk dance groups regularly come to Vienna on their own initiative with a folklore spectacular to ask for the return of the panajo. The bust of Nefertiti is the icon of our Egyptian identity. It's a masterpiece. I believe the smile of Nefertiti will never come back to her face unless she will come back to Egypt. It was the Acropolis that witnessed the first great sculpting ensemble to adorn a piece of public architecture, the reliefs and sculptures that adorn the Parthenon. Around half of it has been in the British Museum for 200 years. These sculptures play a really important role for the world's understanding of its cultural inheritance here in this museum, because this museum has a world importance. The notion that art and culture can only be displayed in their country of origin is absurd. The opposite is true. Art and culture have always radiated into the world. Available now on Video On Demand.